Welcome back everybody. Today, unfortunately, we're doing another one of those videos that I don't want to do. However, I feel it's necessary and this one is time sensitive. So we're trying to knock it out tonight here somewhat quickly. Uh, you may or may not have heard New York has passed several anti-gun measures, among them a bill that bans body armor and it was signed into law by the governor on the 6th of this month, which is key. We'll get to that here in a second. There's a couple key points about this that I want to point out that I think a lot of people haven't noticed yet, but I actually read the law and what it actually says and what it doesn't say. And essentially it prohibits anyone from buying or selling in the state of New York body armor who isn't like a qualified professional security guard, law enforcement, etc. Now, why would they want to do this just first and foremost? The reason is is, and there's no other reason. If anybody can explain to me a reason beyond this, I would love to hear it. They want you to be easier to kill. So they want men from the state armed with guns from the state to more easily be able to kill you. That's the only reason. There's no other reason. Body armor is a defensive tool. You can't go, there's no offensive body armor. No one is ever hurt by body armor. So that's why they're trying to do it. That alone should scare everyone in New York. But uh, regardless, getting into the actual law itself, like I said, it was passed on the 6th rather signed on the 6th, which is key. And we're going to kind of throw a couple screenshots up of some relevant text from the law. First off is the last one here. This act shall take take effect on a 13th day after it shall have become law. Like I said, it was signed on the 6th, meaning that on the 19th, that is when it goes into effect. Now today, I called up several body armor manufacturers. A couple of them wouldn't give me an answer, unfortunately, but two of them did give me an answer saying that they would, in fact, ship body armor up until the point where this law goes into effect to residents of New York. There will be links down below where you guys can pick them up. I have an extensive body armor testing list that you guys can check out as a playlist, I should say, on the channel. If you're new here and you're not sure what to buy, check it out. It will answer all of your questions. Now, getting into the law as well, one thing it says, if I can do a controlled search here, what is body armor? So it says, Defined in section 1-20, then it goes over and says a body vest is defined, defined rather in section 230-20 of New York Penal Code and says, for the purposes of this section, a quote unquote body vest means a bullet resistant soft body armor providing as a minimum standard, the level of protection known as threat level one, which shall mean at least seven layers of bullet resistant material providing protection from three shots of 158 grain lead ammunition fired from a 38 caliber handgun at a velocity of 850 feet per second. So those of you guys who don't know, back in the day, that was a rating that body armor was produced to level one. There's level one, level two, level three, 3A, and four, as well as three plus special threat, things like that. Now, it's key here that it says a body vest is this definition. So what this law is specifically prohibiting is soft armor, which is this, which typically protects against, right, excuse me, pistol, as well as shotgun rounds. This is from Safe Life Defense. It's the Hyperline. I have a video on it. It's freaking awesome. It's super lightweight. So according to what they're saying, soft body armor, and this is a level three, uh, 3A rather. So does it meet this definition? Maybe, depending on how you interpret it. But one thing that definitely doesn't meet the definition the way it says, because it specifically says soft body armor, is plates. So right now this is a level four plate that can stop rifle rounds up to and including uh, 30-06 armor piercing, as well as your standard AR-15, AK rounds, etc. for the new folks out there. So. As of right now, when I'm recording this video on the 8th, that does not appear to be included in this ban. My guess is that I'm not the only one who actually read the text of the law and they're going to go through and amend it real quick and ban this as well, realizing the mistake they made before the 19th. So as of right now, again, it looks like the hard armor is not banned, but it very likely just based on the history of these types of things will be. Now, again, uh, there will be links down below to folks who are willing to sell every New York resident all the body armor they want up until the 19th. So if you are a New York resident, share this. Share this with anybody who you think might be interested. If you know somebody who isn't interested, but you realize that they're just ignorant and don't realize what is coming in the you know next decade, two decades, three decades here in America, and that they might need to buy body armor, 
you might want to get some for them. Honestly, this stuff is relatively inexpensive at this point, particularly something like this. Again, it will stop this particular one in my testing stopped a 50 cal, and these things can be had right now for under $150. And, you know, the soft armor, things that you can stick in kids' backpacks that might save their lives in, you know, any number of events, they're under $100. So just for that peace of mind, me personally, if I was in New York and I had any interest in body armor, potentially using it in the future, I would go ahead and pick it up now. Uh, that's really all I have for you guys. Quick video just letting you guys know the reality of what the law says when it goes into effect and what you can do in the meantime if you don't live in new york it's very easy to laugh at these states and the people that live there but the reality is what liberal states do other states try to emulate eventually in the future during the next disaster so with that prepare accordingly that's all i got for you guys thank you for watching i truly appreciate it if you guys aren't subscribed here definitely hit the uh, subscription because we do videos on tyranny all the time here as well as body armor additionally if you guys are looking for deals on body armor things like that again check out the link in the video description we also have a daily deals email that you can sign up for that if it's in the email it's the cheapest that i know of anywhere on the internet so that way it can save you guys some money if you're looking for optics armor etc it'll be in there and that i believe is all i have for you thank you for watching please share this video and i look forward to seeing everybody in the next video.